Hello people, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Martian composition with the Pyramex crystal. I am using the Alpern XR Martian composition module with a Pyramex controller that is the reference point and a custom made uh, controller holder. You can find it on the link in the description. So first, what is the Martian composition? Well, I give you right now an example when you are using the Martian rig without Martian composition. So uh, we are uh, on ECC and if I go uphill on the radio, let's go for it. So I'm perfectly centered in the car, okay? And when I go uphill, Okay, let's stay there. Uh, as you can see, I am way back in my seat right now. So, what happened? Uh, well, it's quite simple. The Primax Crystal is using the, the inside, out, uh, inside out tracking technology. Um, the position of the headset uh, is tracked with the camera and some reference points all around the room and when uh, the machine rig uh, makes me move uh, the headset uh, think that we are moving and so we are moving in the game while I didn't move in my car so that's why we need uh, the motion compensation is to is to compensate for uh, the motion rig uh, the motion of the rig so I'm going to show you with the motion, motion compensation right now uh, okay, let's go back to the garage, let's start all over again, and let's uh, enable the motion compensation. And let's go for it. So, if it's working, yes. Uh, I'm sentient in the car, and same thing. And you see there, uh, I really stay perfectly centered. Okay, I don't have the same issue as before. And that's really something important uh, because, uh, well, you know, on every track, uh, you will find uh, a spot where you have quite a steep angle. Um, think of the Radeon at Spa, the Corkscrew at Laguna Seca, but even. Uh, even a single curve, you know, when uh, you, you go on the bump, uh, the, um, the car does uh, this movement and you will be uh, way off on the left or the right um, on, in, the, in the display, in the VR headset. So you really need uh, the motion conversation. So how to achieve this? Well, uh, there is multiple solutions, but I'm going to show you the, 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 the most effective. So. Uh, let me show you this. Um, as I said, I am using uh, the OpenXR solution, but uh, there is also a Pimax solution. Sorry, uh, you go to device settings, and here you press Control Q. I think I think the um, the keyboard is off right now. <laughs> ah, that's it. And you have an I menu. And um, well, it is a little bit broken, I think, and that, that's the reason why it is hidden. Okay. Plus, I have a, a, another compensation uh, module, so I guess you can't use both at the, at the same time. But, but in my experience, that doesn't work that well. But there it is, and I'm pretty sure that they will fix it uh, later on. Uh, so there is something in the Pimax software, but we are using it. Um, then on Flight PT, there is the OVR uh, MC module that sends um, the pose of the rig to uh, the Pimax clients, to VR, I don't know. Uh, but, well, you know, a software solution in theory is always better, right? But that's not the case here because you, you have to, to put 
uh, so much accurate uh, dimensions in the config file if you are using this solution you need to uh, you know uh, set the distance between you and the center of gravity of your rig the, those kind of things and in my experience it doesn't wear, work that well and on top of that if by example someone else taller is using your rig with your VR headset because the distance is different well the output won't be that good so well I tried but honestly I really find it effective and I am using um, the OpenX Martian Composition model I put the link in the description you go to um, release you put the latest one uh, you have you know an install file uh, you click on next 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 and you are basically almost good to go you need also to uh, change some values in the config file it is a little bit uh, hidden you go to computer C users uh, your user name and here you want to find the app data folder that is hidden like this app data uh, local open XR uh, machine conversation you do a backup of the config file and uh, you open the file and uh, here two important things first the type of controller uh, of tracker that is used uh, here we are using a controller so you put control well uh, the side of uh, the controller um, it can be left or right controller uh, whatever and you can put it where where you want okay so here I'm using um, the um, the right controller is put on the left uh, the most important thing is that you want to make sure that your controller is always tracked that's the most important thing then you have also three shortcuts that are uh, pretty useful uh, activate the machine composition okay um, reset the reference pose well it's not that useful but sometimes you want to be uh, able to use it and also uh, toggle overlay display it will just you know um, uh, display in the, the headset the X, I, uh, Z uh, axis so um, pretty useful just to check if it is working but I'm going to show you uh, another way to check if it is working so once you are done you, you know you save and you are good to go uh, another I'm going just to, um, to shut the Biomax client to start uh, again to show you something um, okay and we start the game once again and you will hear a countdown uh, and also the status of the machine conversation and I want to make sure that I have a Nero here to show you I think it should work like this 10, 9, 8, here is 7, the countdown 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, error great if you have a Nero here it means that the controller is in track so you want to make sure uh, to track the controller sometimes it's also because the, the headset is in an um, either state so you want to make sure that you are tracking those things and then you, you hit uh, the enable uh, shortcut so let's do that motion compensation activated and it is working another small tip um, you know that mount is extremely sturdy so it doesn't move and you really want it uh, to be uh, sturdy because you know if you do something with a strap or a tap or anything it will move with the machine rig and because it is the reference point if it is moving compared to the machine rig well you, you will have your uh, view uh, shaking you know and it, it will be really awful uh, another tip is I don't know well it is a bit subtle but here it is most, more, more obvious in the headset but if you hit gently um, the controller you will see the, the, the view moving and that's a tip if you want to make sure that motion compensation is activated 
So here it is. Um, as you can see, it's pretty handy to use, and honestly, the result is great. So that's it for the video. I hope that it was uh, helpful to you if you want to use your Primax crystal with the Martian Ray. If you want to buy a Primax crystal, please check the link in the description. There is a $20 uh, discount code. Please hit the subscribe button, uh, check my socials, and I see you. Au revoir.